today we are going to discuss about hybridization shown by iodine and diff in different compounds or you can say different inorganic compounds you know iodine atomic number is 53 its electronic configuration is 5s2 5p5 box electronic configuration 5s and 5p in 5s two electrons are there in 5p 1 2 3 4 and 5 electrons are there there is only one unpaired electron this is its ground state configuration in this ground state iodine show sp3 hybridization 1 5s and 3 5p orbitals are there so total all together 4 sp3 hybridized orbitals are there out of these 4 sp3 hybridized orbital 3 sp3 hybridized orbitals 1 2 and 3 3 sp3 hybridized orbitals are non bonding in nature and this 1 sp3 hybridized orbital is bonding in nature chlorine is having 2s2 2p5 configuration fluorine is having only one unpaired electron rest six are paired iodine is also having only one unpaired electron and rest six are paired electrons in this way this one unpaired electron of iodine will combine with this one unpaired electron of fluorine to form if iodine also do the same in this way i and f they are both species will be having paired electrons will attain stability this sp3 sp3 hydration shown by iodine bond angle between iodine and f will be 180 degree shape will be linear this is according to electron diffraction method according to electron diffraction method number of hybridized orbital will be equal to lone pair plus bond pair lone pair here is 1 2 and 3 bond pair is only one so three plus one four that's why you have written sp3 hybridization this is there in ground state of iodine now in first excited state first excited state of iodine this one electron will go to 5p so 5s 5p and 5b 1 2 3 4 5 5s 5p and 5b 5s is having as usual two electrons 5p x is again having same two 5p now will be having one electron and this one electron will be shifted to b and this 5p z is again here hybridization shown by iodine there in its first excited state will be sp3d here 1s and 3p and 1d is there so total altogether 5 sp3d hybridized orbitals are there out of these 5 sp3d hybridized orbital 2 sp3 2 sp3d 1 and 2 2 sp3d hybridized orbitals are non bonding in nature and this 1 2 and 3 sp3d hybridized orbitals are bonding in nature here one iodine is having two lone pairs and 
rest three one two three unpaired or bonding that pause in this way one iodine will combine with three fluorine atoms to form if3 in this way on unpaired electrons of fluorine as well as iodine we get paired and the compound formed will be if3 here again two methods to calculate hybridization is there one is electron diffraction method and second is nmr technique nmr is nuclear magnetic resonance that's classical concept to calculate hybridization while this electron diffraction is modern method to calculate about hybridization here in this electron diffraction we will be considering lone pair as well as bond pair both and according to this electron diffraction bond pairs are three and lone pairs are two lone pairs are two and bond pairs are three so total five five means sp3d hybridization while according to nmr you will only be considering bond pairs and see how many bond pairs are there one two and three so bond pairs are three in number so hybridization shown by iodine in if3 according to nmr will be sp2 will be sp2 now see so since hybridization shown by iodine according to nmr in if3 is sp2 so shape will be planar bond angle will be 120 degree while according to this uh, electron diffraction method since it is high sp3b hybridization so shape will be trigonal by pyramid bond angle will be 90 degree and 120 degree this is first excited state here we have written sp3d hybridization according to electron diffraction method and according to NMR method, hydration shown by iodine is sp2. This shape is instead of planar, is p shaped, is t shaped. So better to say t shaped bond angle will be 120 degree, and here it will be 90 degree and 120 degree. 